And let's try that copy command again. Copy dash r slash mnt cd-rom images. And we're going to copy that to dot slash images one control Z and then we put that in the background to run and we type jobs and we can see that that job is run in the background and it's pretty fast I guess it's got this in RAM now so it's going pretty fast for me but anyways by typing the jobs you can see the jobs there and then the command you would type to bring it into the foreground is FG space percent and then the job number so job number one and it obviously says there's no job found because it's already copied let's see if we can copy the entire CD and see if we can get that to be in the background take a little longer so we're gonna copy that to uh, copy CD and we're gonna copy just the entire CD ROM all right that'll take a while so control Z it stopped, we run it in the background by typing BG and it puts it in the background and it's running. Now we type jobs and we can see that that job is running in the background. If we do an LS of my copy CD, we can see that it's starting to copy all the files in the folders. And it'll take a while to copy all the packages in there. So now if I want to run another job, let's say copy slash MNT CD ROM packages to dot slash pack one whoops I need to do a dash R to make that recursive and now that run this in the background oops I gotta hit control Z first and then put that in the background and now I type jobs and I see I have two jobs running job number one job number two so to put the Job number one back in the foreground, I type FG space one. And now it's sitting there at the prompt, I can't do anything, so I have to suspend it, hit control Z, and then send it to the background again by typing BG. So again, type jobs in the background, I can see it. So if I wanna kill one of those jobs, I just type the command kill dash three space and then percent and then the job number so let's kill job number one and that's our cd copy and now we type jobs and job number one is quit so it should stop copying the contents of the cd now let me kill job number two kill dash three percent two type jobs and now number two is in a quit state and in a second this will clear out so if i type jobs again now there are no jobs at all. So there's an example of doing a very large copy and putting that process in the background so you can continue to copy other files or do other things at the command prompt while you're working. Good luck, have fun with it.